let me transfer you. Switch to Farm Bureau Insurance today and get real service instead of getting really tangled up. For auto, home, life, and health, get the membership advantage. Get Farm Bureau Insurance. Well, joining us live in studio, Richmond Spiders head football coach, Latrell Scott. Hey, first of all, thanks for coming. And thanks for bringing Brandy. I appreciate you bringing your lovely wife today because that's, that's always the better half. And you didn't know this, today is your five-month anniversary as being the head football coach at the University of Richmond. First, thanks for coming in and, and happy anniversary already. Uh, thanks for having me here. Uh, I, I tell you, it feels like we've been here about two weeks, so, <laughs> so, so I've lasted five months. That's a great, great, uh, great situation. Off to a great start. Spring drills done. Kind of give us an update on how you think things went. I thought the kids did well this spring. Obviously, there were adjustments. Uh, they had to, you know, adjust to a new offense scheme and new defensive scheme and obviously a, a staff full of new coaches, but I think and we went in with a plan, we stuck to our plan, and we got some work done. Obviously, we still have tons of work to do, but we're excited about what we're able to get done. I so. like seeing you in that Richmond Spider sweatshirt. I just thought I'd throw that out because I like the way it looks. Now, you've got a, a couple of guys back on, on the offensive quarterback where that's one of the places everybody wants to talk about quarterback. you got a couple of good guys, I think, so you can play two different ways if you want to with both of those guys. It's an exciting situation. I mean, both mm -hmm. of those kids are, are really good quarterbacks, and uh, I think we – have a lot better quarterback situation than a lot of people. But, uh, you know, to, to the guys' credit, they competed all spring. And, uh, you know, there wasn't a lot of separation between the two in the spring, and we're going to bring them back in August and, and figure out who's going to be our leader. But, uh, like I said, those guys competed. They didn't let the competition create a separation between the two, but it gives our team, you know, a great dynamic to have two good quarterbacks. And yeah, nowadays you need that, really, because if you ever want to go down, you got to have somebody who can come in there. Absolutely have to. No question about it. I mean, you know, one's definitely better than – I mean, two's definitely better than one. A absolutely. Talk a little bit about this football team. You, you came in and, and the cupboard was not bare. You came into a team that's got, that's got a pretty good nucleus to build off of. What do you do to kind of change to fit into what Latrell Scott wants to bring in? I think you just continue to cultivate the talent. Uh, mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, there's a lot of talent. The difference between the talent on this team and previous teams is these guys just haven't played. Uh, you know, but again, you have a great group of senior leaders and a, and a great mix of young talent. We just mm -hmm. have to make sure that we get these guys up to speed and, and uh, you know, so that we can be as competitive as possible. I know you can't talk about recruiting a whole lot, but, but you can talk about the class coming in, I think, as an overhaul because there's some of those young people that, that may not have to come in and play immediately, but they're going to have to come in and help probably by midseason. You're going to have to have some of those kids because everybody does now. Right. I mean, we feel like we went out and got, got a very talented group. We ended up signing 18 kids in, in uh, this past year's class, and it was, it was a national class. You know, we've got kids from everywhere from Richmond to Detroit uh, to Texas. So. You know, it really, you know, really helped put Richmond, you know, on, on the national landscape and just show that our school can, uh, you know, attract kids nationally. But like I said, it just, uh, it's a talented bunch that we want to make sure that these, these kids come in and we give them time to develop. I mean, the mark of a good program is that you don't have to play these young guys right away, but obviously and hopefully some of these guys can help us pretty, pretty, pretty quick. You know, the amazing thing is, is I watch this guy, he's still a young man. <laughs> play at Lee Davis and to think of you coming from Lee Davis to coaching all over the place and then coming back here as a head coach I, I tell you, it's been fun for me to watch and I know you almost have to pinch yourself sometimes because you really don't get a chance to go back home to be a head football coach in college no I don't think you could have scripted it any better and obviously we, we kind of fell into this situation and we're thankful for it and just just to have the ability to come back to Richmond and, and to have this opportunity in front of my friends and my family and everybody that's important to us everyone's been supportive to this point the city of Richmond's been supportive the university community, and we're just excited, and hopefully we'll, we'll put a great product on the field this uh, fall. Well, I don't think there's any question that you're going to do a great job. Your resume is too good, and there are too many folks that know too much about you, including <laughs> yours truly, because I'm going to tell you one quick story. First day when you got the job, I walked up to him after he had the formal press conference, walked up, and his first words were, can I get back on the high school football show on Friday night? <laughs> Here's the deal. You can have the high school football. You will let you come in here any Friday night that you want to, because we've had a lot of fun with that for a long time, and it, and it really is. It's a treat for me to see a young guy who's done so great, and, and I'm proud of you, and we're pulling for you and anything we can do to help out. You know, we're on the team. We'll, we'll put on the spider jerseys if we need to, if it'll help you. i tell you what, every little thing helps, and I appreciate you for all the support through the years, definitely. Those, uh, those Friday night, Friday night <laughs> highlights were big, big times in my life. <laughs> they were big times for us, too. Latrell, thanks so much for coming to us. Latrell Scott right here in living color, the head coach of Richmond Spiders. Wish you well this coming fall. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Thanks.